Hello everyone, this is Rashid again and in this today's video I'm going to look at writing task 1 of IELTS. There are many types of writing task 1 uh, but the one that I'm going to look at today is the is a very common one that's a line graph. I'll first talk about what line graph is and the steps for writing it and then the tenses that you should be careful of and the vocabulary for trends and adjectives and adverbs that can help you write it down and in a better vocabulary and the connectors and the time expressions at the end. Finally there will be one example that we'll do together. So what is a line graph? A line graph is a particular type of writing task one where you have trends. The lines given in the graph would be representing the information that, that happened. It can be in the past, it can be in the present or it may also be going to the future. So what are the steps for writing it? Uh, many students I know, what they do is the moment they look at the task, they quickly start writing. I think that's a crazy idea. You would be going back, cutting it, erasing and then getting confused or panicking. So it's better that you first plan. Think of the trends, what exactly is happening in the graph. Picture all of the information and understand what exactly happened, what were the trends. So to avoid all these issues, it's better that you plan your writing very well. It's always a better idea to spend about three to four minutes and think exactly what happened. This will save you lots of hassle of, of going back to your paragraphs and erasing and rewriting. So what you would be doing is that you would write down the introduction first or something that you understand from the graph in general and then two to three body paragraphs in which you will give the detail. The next tip is that you should always look for the tense, what type of tense you would be using. If the trends are in the past, for example from 2000 to 2010, then obviously you will be writing in the past using the second form of verb or was plus ing, was were plus ing, had plus third form, etc. If it is in the present, then you would use the present tenses and if it is in the future, you would be using the words like the projections show that it is predicted, it is likely that the, the sales will increase. So it's always better to be careful about the tenses. Some people keep on writing and at the end they realize that they, they have totally messed up with the writing because they have been writing in the wrong tenses. Okay, here's the vocabulary for the trends. This vocabulary can be very useful to talk about the, the changes that occurred in the graph. Increase, decrease, double, go down, go up, jump, soar, surge, plummet, upward, downward, trend, peak, drop, improve or worsen, etc. You can take help from adjective and adverbs to talk about the amount of change that occurred. For example, dramatic, dramatically, significant, significantly, striking, strikingly, sharp, sharply, rapid, rapidly, steady, steadily, negligible, negligibly, remarkable, remarkably, slight, slightly, gradual, gradually, etc. There are many, in fact, connectors that you can use to create coherence and cohesion in your writing. For example, in addition, later, following this, followed by, by contrast, another, similarly, conversely, after that. So I'm going to show you the example now. Ideally, you should spend about 20 minutes and three to four minutes for planning and then 12 minutes for uh, writing your your complete report and then another two to three minutes to proofread it. Our general structure of the task one would be intro, overall information and the next two paragraphs of the detail. So that's a standard format of the report for you to start. As you can see this task is showing us data about three bakeries and how their income changed over the time. So if you have a general look, you can see that the main information is that the business of two bakeries went upwards and the income of third bakery fell downwards over the period. This is something that happened over the complete periods. So this information is going to be part of our second paragraph, which is going to be summary. As we are noticing these pieces of information, we keep writing them down in short words to help us recall these ideas. So that will be our plan. As now we have extracted the overall information, uh, it's time to write down the intro. To write down a clear and easy introduction, it's better to paraphrase the question that's been given. 
You may use these words to start the intro. The graph illustrates information about, etc. Don't give any detail here. You save the detail for the remaining paragraphs. Your next paragraph will be about overall or general idea, just two to three points. They're the main points that you have picked or, or you have understood from the graph. Just write them down shortly and briefly without giving any extra detail here. You can start this paragraph by using the words in general or overall. Now let's generate more information that would help us write detailed paragraphs. So now you'll write two or more paragraphs. Uh, these next paragraphs are of detail. So now what you're going to do is that you're going to look at the detail closely and think about the important events that happened and explain how these earnings changed over time with the evidence from the graph, like giving figures and examples. Let's look at the info of Bernie's buns here. And this would be our first paragraph, body paragraph, I mean. We want to mention three things. As you can see, the starting point, that was £20,000. Second point is the fluctuation. And the last point is a considerable increase after 2006 until the last given year. Second detail would be of Robbie's Bakery. Uh, as you can see, the first point, its trend was uh, similar, but no change in income for the first five years. And then a dramatic increase to 100,000 till 2008, and then slow rise to 105,000 in the last given year. Last detail is of Lovely Loops. So, um, as it's clear that the first detail is how its income had some rise and fall for the first four years and then uh, it kept falling um, to 40,000 and lastly how income remained stable in the last few years. Now you have all the key points for writing down this line graph and also the vocabulary and the connectors and everything. Hopefully now you would be able to write an effective report on the line graph after watching this video. If you can, I would encourage you to, uh, to write down your task response, your script, and paste it here in the comments below. Let's see how it goes. I'll see you in the next video. Best of luck.